Hello again, folks. Vincent here in the hall of our English house at Jamestown Settlement. April the 4th is International Carrot Day, and I thought it'd be fun to pull out a mid-17th century carrot recipe. So join me as we try soups of buttered carrots. The recipe we're going to examine today comes to us from Robert May's book, The Accomplished Cook. May himself was born into a Catholic family in 1588. He will be sent to Paris, France about the age of 10 to apprentice as a cook, and after five years of an apprenticeship will return to England and his father's employment. Through most of his life, he'll serve as cook in many of the households of minor English nobles, many of them being old Catholic families. With the restoration of the Stuart monarchy, he'll publish his book, The Accomplished Cook, in 1660. He dies about 1664, 65, but his book will continue to be published for another 20 years. So the recipe we're gonna to do today is originally titled by May, Soups or Buttered Meats of Spinach. And one of the themes you'll see in May's recipe book is that he'll tell you how to cook something and then give you variations on that theme. He said, take fine young spinach, pick it and wash it clean, then have a skillet or pan of fair liquor on the fire. When it boils, put in the spinach, give it a warm or two, and take it out into a colander. Let it drain, then mince it small, and put it in a pipkin with some sliced dates, butter, white wine, beaten cinnamon, salt, sugar, and some boiled currants. Stew them well together and dish them on sippets, finely carved, and about it, hard eggs, and halves or quarters, not too hard boiled, and scrape, salt, scrape on some sugar. He'll actually continue that recipe by saying soups of carrots, being boiled, cleansed, stamp, and season them in all the points before. We are going to do this recipe using carrots. So what we need to do first is to slice the carrots, cut them up, put them into our kettle with some water, and get those over the fire. So we'll just start with taking about a pound of carrots. You can wash them, scrape them. Please wash them, scrape them if you want. And then we will cut the ends off of them and slice them small. Once we have the carrots sliced, we'll put them into the kettle, just enough water to cover them, enough water to boil them in, and boil them to firm but soft. So we'll get them on the fire. And as those cook, he also called for dates sliced and currants. And as we talked about in our video making meatballs, in the United States we just can't get currants. And so we're going to substitute raisins, put a little wine to them to let them soak up, get moist and plump up again. We're gonna take our dates and slice them up as well. And for our recipe, use however many dates you want. Two to six would be fine. There's no right or wrong on that. A tablespoon or two of raisins. Again, however many you might want. 
So as we have our carrots on the fire, bring them to a boil, now's a good time to make sippets. And in our meatball recipe, we talk about sops. There are sops and there are sippets. Sops is, as it sounds, it's really is to sop up gravy, to soak things up. In the case of sippets, it's to serve something on. And when our recipe is finished, we are going to be serving our carrots on sippets, on little bits of toast. So let's get our embers under the gridiron, put some bread down on the gridiron, and start toasting that. So our carrots are boiling nicely over the fire, our sippets are toasting nice, in fact it's about time to take those off. So we'll take the sippets off, we'll butter them, and cut them up a little smaller. Here are our sippets for serving on uh, for serving carrots on in a few moments when they're done. Our sippets are done. We've got those buttered and sliced up a little smaller. And now after about 20 minutes of boiling, our carrots are done as well. So I'm going to take them off with a fire. And I want to take our carrots out of the water and we're going to transfer them to a bowl. And what we want to do is transfer the carrots into a bowl so that we can mash them up. We're going to use a nice heavy pestle to mash them up. You don't have to mash them up like mashed potatoes. You just want to break them down so that we can then Put them into the pipkin with the other ingredients. If you try this at home, you might use a, you want to try it at home, use a mashed potato tool. Or let them cool a little bit, mash them up with a knife, or mince them up with a knife. Or you might even be able to use a back of a fork.
here's our carrots mashed up. And now we're going to begin to put our ingredients together. So we're going to start by taking and moving our carrots to a pipkin. And to our carrots, oh, about a tablespoon or two of butter and Mix that up until that melts. We'll add our raisins, which we had in that little bit of white wine, and our dates that we had sliced up. We'll add some sugar. And since carrots are sweet, we've got the raisins, we've got the dates, you do not need a lot of sugar. About a table, or excuse me, about a teaspoon or so of sugar should be sufficient to go into this. And then some cinnamon. And however much you like, a quarter teaspoon or so. I don't always measure. A pinch of salt. And then about a quarter cup of white wine. And we want to mix that all together again. And our last step is to Heat this back up, let those cook together for a little bit, and then we'll be ready to serve. So we're putting a few embers down on the floor of our hearth set the pipkin down in the embers and I am going to put more embers up around it. And we'll let that cook together oh, about five, six minutes or so. So our carrots have cooked long enough with the other ingredients down on our hearth. So let's go ahead and take them off the heat, bring them up onto the table and put them into a dish to serve from. And here is our soups of buttered carrots. We've got our sippets, and we are now going to get ready to test these on some of our co-workers.
Be right back. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. I have my friend Rob and Calvin, and as we always do, we test on our coworkers. So, you up, guys. All right. Well folks, I hope you liked this video. If you did, make sure to like and subscribe, leave a comment below. If you tried the recipe out, let us know how you did. Leave that comment below as well. Hello again folks, Vincent here in the hall of our English house at Jamestown Settlement. April the 4th is International Carrot Day, and for all of those of us who are tortured by our parents making us eat cooked carrots, I have a cooked carrot recipe that will redeem that terror of your childhood. So, as our video is to do a carrot recipe, we are going to substitute the carrots for the spinach. I certainly don't like spinach, and I'm sure many of you don't like spinach. I don't. 